Brandon Eisenman joining us uh, from LSU Breakdown to uh, talk about the Tigers with the spring game approaching on April 22nd. Then just a weekend after that will be the NFL draft. Most uh, draft prognosticators have Leonard Fournette going as the first running back over Dalvin Cook and Christian McCaffrey. LSU still um, in good shape there at that position with Darius Geis coming off a almost 1,400-yard campaign with 15 touchdowns rushing. Uh, and, and you're pretty high on uh, Darius possibly uh, becoming an even bigger impact player this season. Yeah, I'm really high on Darius Geis. I mean, the guy's explosive on the field. I mean, in my mind, he's better than Fournette. I think that the way LSU relies on their running backs, if you look at their history from when they started playing football, they've always really relied on the running back position. And Geis is primed and he's ready to go and he's ready to lead this offense. I think that he can get maybe 15, 1,600 yards, maybe even eclipse 2,000 if, if they hand him the ball enough. I think he's very well in contention for the Heisman Trophy. Of course, you have a ton of quarterbacks out there, Sam Darnold from USC and Jalen Hurts and DeAndre Francois and guys like that. But I think that guys will be very high on everybody's Heisman votes, and he could possibly win it. I think it'll be close this year, but I think he might could win it. Brandon, to your point about Fournette, is he's a tremendous running back, one of the great talents we've seen in recent years. I don't think there's any question about that. But his style almost forces the offense to be built around him. He's a guy that you set up deep in the backfield. The The offense has to revolve around him. You pitch it to him right, pitch it to him left. He's almost a throwback to Herschel Walker or Bo Jackson in that sense, where Darius Geis, I think, has the potential to be more of an impact player and be more versatile uh, in the passing game. He caught nine passes last year. I would like to see that that figure probably triple this year with 25, 30 receptions for Darius Geis. Getting him out in space in the passing game could really loosen things up and, and make him extremely effective. Of course, he has to gain his yardage against arguably the best run defenses in the country in the SEC. So that uh, is something to look out for as well.